people have asked me many, many times what my future plans are with van life. Would I ever buy property? Would I ever build a tiny house somewhere? And you know what? All this time, I've always told you guys, no, I'm going to live in my van forever. Well, something came up in my day today that just might make me change my mind. This is probably the coolest little tiny home I've ever seen. Check this out. Yep, how awesome would that thing be? Pointed right at a lake. Pointed because you see the size of that huge dome on the other side? Imagine sleeping and having that huge dome overlooking something spectacular. And the price on this thing is extremely affordable. Let's go take a look inside a little bit and show you like some of the storage and stuff. Even the outside with the little round window. This whole thing just feels extremely comfortable. Everything in here was extremely well thought out. That massive dome window on a platform that would fit a king size mattress. Some storage containers on either side there for little night tables. So awesome. These benches fold up, giving you lots of room for extra storage. Underneath the bed is one huge, huge area for extra storage, which is awesome. The part I thought was cool is the table here actually slides right in underneath the bed, opening up this entire area. Just freaking awesome. What's really appealing, besides just the weirdness and the awesomeness of this entire thing, is the price. Just as you see it as it sits, including the weather wrap and stuff like that that's on the top, all of the work that's done inside for $17,000 Canadian. Yeah, I think that is pretty freaking cool and what a rad price. If you're just gonna buy a small piece of property and pop this little tiny home on it, boom, done deal. He also manufactures these as they are ordered. So if there's anything specific you need, like any kind of ventilation, anything done to it otherwise, that can be talked to the gentleman at that point. I'll leave the links to these guys down below. Uh, super freaking cool. Another cool part is, not only can you get this rad little front domed tiny home for your property, they even make like fire powered saunas and hot tubs. I'm not a sauna guy, but man, if I were to buy that for 17 grand and then buy the hot tub for another 8,500 bucks, we would have the ultimate cool place to park when I don't feel like traveling. Let's go check out the hot tub. Picture this, the snowflakes are falling and you don't really feel like adventuring around in your van so you pull up to your little tiny home by the lake and you fill this full of lake water and all of a sudden you just got this super warm, <laughs> oh, could you imagine how rad this is? And they also make the same size round little cylinder for a sauna. I'm not a sauna guy so this is not something that really interests me very much. But if you are, then this is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Yep, 
you could actually make this thing into like a super tiny guest house for your larger tiny home. Larger tiny home, can you put those two words together? Yeah, you got a big tube for yourself, a little tube for company, and you're good to go. Um, the price on these ones here, they have it marked in there on a brochure is like 9,500 bucks. How cool of a little property could you build somewhere with something cool like this? So also, so you guys know, this is not an advertisement. This is not something these guys are paying me for. I just happen to be driving by and like, boom, I seen this thing sitting there. Sleeping barrels. That's what caught my attention. A sleeping barrel. Someone's like, hey man, where do you live? I just uh, sleep in a barrel. You sleep in a what? I love that on my travels, we come across so many crazy, funky, weird, and just rad things like sleeping in a damn barrel. Who would have thought sleeping in a barrel was a thing? I know I've never seen or heard of it, so it just, it, it just was so exciting. And it got me thinking about my future. What am I doing in van life? Is this gonna be something I'm gonna do forever? And I know in previous videos I told you I am never, ever, ever gonna stop van life. And that is the freaking truth. I will stop living in a van the second they take my license away saying, Chrome, you're an old man now. No, you can't drive no more. So on my last trip, I was driving up the number three highway towards Asoyas and I came across this place called Sunshine Valley. It was beautiful. Mountains on either side and I pulled into this little town and there was tiny, these tiny little bungalows all over the place. Like kind of little mini tiny homes scattered amongst other medium sized homes. <laughs> and there was a whole lot of for sale signs and everybody's yard had a quad, a dirt bike or some kind of a four wheel drive vehicle. And turns out that whole area is a four by four adventure area. That's what that place is. It's got tons of trails and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. If I ever hit the point that I can't drive, that's the kind of place that I want to go. But that got my mind rolling. And then today, running by sleeping in a barrel really got me thinking. Dis disclaimer, is a disclaimer? I am not. I am not quitting van life, okay? And it's gonna be a long time before I ever buy a piece of property. Probably another 10 or more years down the line. But it's things like that alternative living, like sleeping in a barrel, is what would inspire me to take that step in just say 20 or more years. Because at that point, I'm gonna be 60, whoo, we'll be 65 in 20 years, 64, whoo. That's crazy to think about. But I plan on taking all this money that I'm gonna save over the next 20 years of not having to pay rent and buy myself something weird. Go live somewhere doing something just totally off the beaten path, you know what I mean? Like when you come over to my house and my bedroom is in one tube. Yeah, and then I have another tube just for, well, come on, I'm getting out of hand here, but I have all these tubes rolled up and it's got all my little stuff I'm gonna need. I got a music studio in one tube and. <laughs> uh, just the options for f for the future it just feels so wide open for me for the first time in my life because when I was stuck working the nine to five grind and paying that high price rent I didn't feel like my future had options but today I feel like the world is out there. The world is out there for me to just go take what I want, do what I want, be what I want to be, and I've got van life to thank for the opportunities that are coming towards me right now. Because I wouldn't be debt free if it wasn't for my van, and that changed everything. I would have never in my life pondered buying a piece of property. And I'll tell you something, I guarantee you in the next 20 years, if I happen to drive by this perfect spot, and the price was cheap, I'd build a little mini tiny home place for me to go home to once in a while and you know, maybe a little place that my daughter would like to go visit with her friends when she gets married and she gets older. She's like, hey, we can go stay in my dad's tube. <laughs> anyway, just sharing some thoughts with you guys that I, just seeing that sleeping barrel was just inspired me today. I just love it when people build obscure and crazy things like that. So high five to the guy who's building those things. Um, sure would have been nice to meet you today, but maybe on another chance, we'll get a chance to dive into you making one. So yeah, so the, hey, sorry, I'm getting excited again. 
So if the guy who owns and makes those tubes is watching this video, please, if you are building one, I would feel honored to come out and film some of that build with you guys because I don't know, I just think what you're doing is super cool. It's super weird and I love weird things. We all love weird things. We're a bunch of weirdos in this world. Anyway, just wanted to share my thoughts with you this morning. Look at this, I am sweating. The temperature today is supposed to be 29 degrees Celsius. You see that sweat drip? <laughs> welcome to summertime, baby. And if you're new here, welcome to Van City Van Life.